the design is now at third iteration of the architecture. First was performance at any cost. Worked great, but too complicated. Second, an attempt to simplify, but it gave up performance without much gains in simplicity. The new architecture so far is, it's a decent balance of cost, performance, manufacturability, and simplicity. The first two architectures sampled all keys simultaneously in parallel. 8 ADC per integrated circuit. The new architecture uses as few as one converter with 16 to 1 analog multiplexers and an 8 to 1 multiplexer. But for higher performance, it supports a mixed approach to circuit board details. One I call the integrated processing system or IPS. The other is six channel analog on IPS, 16 to 1 multiplexers, Teensy processor, touchscreen display, pedal inputs. MIDI, Ethernet, and CAN bus to communicate between damper and hammer boards. On SCA, the 8 to 1 multiplexer and one converter. As always, I manually solder everything. Why? Both the Teensy and SCA are socketed, so I can experiment with different converters or running in parallel without spinning the expensive main board. Cool. Lots of experimenting. For testing different op amps, I reused a board I had built to practice soldering. Testing damper falling. Right there. And it worked. One set of boards had a manufacturing defect, but they fixed it quickly and at no cost, which was nice. Verifying rise and fall times match my simulations. Another iteration of the boards. Also testing fairly major firmware changes. I need to build more damper sensors. 